Hello, this time you are going to learn how to create cool and good looking smooth transition in PowerPoint like this. My name is Skenja. Now let me show you how to create this beautiful transition design that might be used with multiple purposes uh, like you can use it for, for kind of agenda presentation, maybe product presentation or just as cool and good looking transition for any of project you have. As always we are going to open new presentation, new slide for these purposes you are going to need high resolution photo and I'm going to use again Pixabay type modern car and then search for good looking photos but th there it is this is my photo I'm going to download it in maximal re resolution okay here it is then I should go into downloads, take it and drag and drop it to my presentation. There it is. Okay, so where is the trick? Here I have my beautiful photo. I would resize it to fit to, to slide, so, so to have exact dimensions as our slide. If we go, if we click to slide, and then go to design slide size custom slide size to see this is the the the, the, the size of our slide it's 13.3033 and 7.5 inches so i would like to have my photo exactly in this in these measures so where is the trick i would click to my photo go to format and then double the, the dimensions so this should be 15 but before that you should take care about locking the ratio so if you go right click here right right click on the photo format picture go here size and properties and go to size you should check lock aspect ratio because what does it mean if I resize the height then the width will be resized accordingly to this ratio I have already set so here I should say you should go double is 15 and then what we have we have doubled the size of our image then we'll insert shape as a square shape and then make it as big as our slide again why you will see very quickly why Here it is. Okay, 7.5, 13.33, without any lines. Then copy all of these shapes and go into View, Slide Master. Okay, then I would paste my shapes and my photo here. Then I would copy three times this shape and three times our photo. I would unzoom everything and then what I'm going to do. I will take one photo, one shape, select that photo, select shape, go to format and align, align them where to left and to top and then go to merge shapes and say intersect. So I have first piece of my photo. Then second piece of my photo should be, let me bring to front this shape, second piece of my photo should be this part, this lower left part of this image. I would select photo, press control, select shape, go to format, 
align again left but this time bottom and then merge shapes intersect this would be the second the third one would be again bring it to front the third one would be bottom right part so select photo control select shape format align what bottom but not left then right merge shapes intersect okay i have three shapes so every shape should go to each master slide so first one should be here the second one should be here just to place it correctly and first second no this one is first yes this one is second this one is third yeah it, it is third one here yeah now i could delete all of these pieces and let me check i will close master slide then new insert new slides insert new slides let me see what i have okay this one go looks good this one is not good you see it is not positioned correctly at the slide i will go immediately into view slide master and position it correctly let me check this one it should be looking good let me check okay then we should add transition to these slides in order to have that smooth movement the best transition for this is push you see then this slide again push but not let me check from right yes let me see what i have now push is everything everything looks great push yeah somehow this is too quick then i will select both of this slide and say duration of this transition should last two seconds let me check yes i have my transitions cool then we need fourth slide but fourth slide will be set uh, differently than this i would go to downloads take my photo place it here uh, make it again fit to my slide and resize it to double size but now i would place my photo right here like that top right part to be visible at slide and then i would give transition to this slide again push but from top now let us see what we have now we have everything run smoothly except this last transition transition should last two seconds again so this is the first part of our job to make this transition goes smoothly with one last touch we are going why we placed here entire photo not uh, pieces of, of photo like well like we did with with master slide i'm going to show you right now because this photo should be resized and, sh and entire photo should fit to our to our slide and we are going to play with animation so to this photo i'm going to take this photo and i'm going to say so right now you're big doubled in size you should be shrinked we'll go open animation pane go to effects animation you should be shrinked for 50 percent or 55 because if i make it 50 percent then i should i should m play more with it in order to to place it exactly at the right place if i leave some five percent then this part of the job would be much easier so you see this photo right now here it is is resizing but not fitting to our slide 
In order to make this photo fit to our slide, we should add one more animation, which would be motion diagonal upright, but here we have these guidelines and then we will fix this photo to go at the center of our slide with previous timing with previous and we should turn off smooth start and smooth end let me see what we have that's it guys that's it let's see what how everything looks does it work smoothly so far so good excellent we have certain glitch here but i suppose it's because no now we do not have it yeah that's it this is the first part of the job the second part would be to place all text and all other elements uh, that are explaining certain i don't know benefits maybe it, uh, as i said you might use it as your agenda like because everything goes smoothly then you can place some kind of um, first part second part third part of your presentation and then it would it would look very good or as i said you could as i did it here you could uh, make some product presentation like with this card in order to do that i will not make everything from the scratch i would just take my my elements from from a previous presentation i already done and then place it here like if you like to, to this is very 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 simple uh, uh, creation i just took this sign from this photo uh, from this card and make donuts you see these are donuts nothing special then the, the, i just gave the name to this car tomcat i don't know for me sounds very cool and then breed for speed kind of needs for for speed uh, word uh, playing with words that's the first element and slide second element would be uh, like product presentation with these are just lines you see grouped lines with certain explanation ultra light, light low profile chassis top performance energy efficiency you could make whatever you want then on third slide i don't know what i was writing yeah again lines yeah top notch high-end te technology tires and brakes precise steering etc etc you could make again whatever you want and then this one is very important because here we have our text again lines with text boxes let me just check is everything is at right place so our intro slide then we have our line with explanation looking good then we have tires and brakes looking very good then we have ultra light materials compact design aerodynamics cool and then we should make this text disappear and something to appear so what i'm going to do because now we have this entire photo animated so first thing i'm going to take these lines and this text and i'm going to give it animation fade with previous and then just to delete here let me see nice but what i'm missing i'm missing this tomcat logo with title and i will place it here but this logo and this text is not animated accordingly with this photo so it means that i should group this photo 
with with these elements but again animating everything when i group photo with some other elements i will lose my animation so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy and paste this photo then you see i copy and paste it with with animation then i'm going to take this photo these elements and photo right click group them when i group them i lost my animations so i will select my photo with my animation go to animation animation painter click here and then everything is animated like group just what i should do i should take this move it here and then just delete let me see what i have yes guys no no it's not good because i should this group sent to back yeah you see now text appeared once again looking very good and now i have my top get breed for speed let me check once again excellent so please if you liked it subscribe to my channel write me uh, send me some critiques or some constructive feedback i will use it for sure thank you for watching and uh, see you very soon bye guys